O echipă de chirurgi din New York a transplantat cu succes două inimi de porc modificate genetic în corpuri umane, însă de această dată operația a fost efectuată pe doi pacienți aflați în moarte cerebrală, dar care încă respirau cu ajutorul aparatelor. În ambele cazuri, organismul persoanei nu a respins inima. Iată de ce medici au ales pentru transplant pacienți considerați decedați din punct de vedere medical. The reason to do this is, as I said, one is you never learn from one procedure. And two, by giving us a more controlled setting, we can study this in much more detail and in much more depth than would be otherwise possible in a human. Because you can't keep subjecting a live human to you know, repeated procedures at all hours of the day. Did this transplant exactly the way that we would do um, a human organ transplant? In other words, we sent a team to where the donor was, in this case it was a pig, and um, brought the heart back. It was over a thousand miles away um, and sewed it in and did everything just exactly um, the way that we would uh, do a regular transplant without using an experimental um, pump you know, device or experimental drugs. Îți amintesc, la începutul lui ianuarie, o persoană din Maryland a primit o inimă de porc. Inițial a răspuns bine la transplant, dar a murit la două luni după intervenție din cauza insuficienței cardiace. So, Mr. Bennett was a brave man and, uh, you know, uh, without his contribution, we couldn't have done this, uh, this procedure. And he, he was brave enough to donate his uh, uh, body his uh, to, to science and to accept this uh, this porcine heart which many would not uh, and we are very grateful to him